One of the best features that we have in Revit is room and area section. At least I think it's way easier and faster than AutoCAD. So we are going to see how we can use these tools and how we can export their schedule. To start using this tool, you need to first make sure that you are in floor plan. Then in architecture tab, in area, room and area section, you need to click on this part. We have this area plan and this part which is grayed out. First, we need to click on this part and it gives us a few options. One is gross building and after that we have the rentable. The difference between them is very small so you can select either one of them and after that select one of these levels this is because depending on the level you are going to create it will create another view so for example i'm going to select this gross building and on first level and okay and simply it gives me another view so if you scroll down in project browser in coordination you can find this area plan if you open it you can see the gross building in first level if you create another one in rentable you will find another view in area plans rentable and it lists all of the levels that you created with that specific area so in this view you can see these purple lines these parts these are separators and it seems that we don't have all of them in these parts. So to fix it, you need to first create area boundary. I'm going to click on this part here and these parts. Now you need to go to this part again and click on this icon and just put it in here. If you click on the tag, you can change the name. For example, let's go with first floor area. And if you want, you can also create area for these exterior parts too. For this, we need to use boundary again. I'm going to click on these parts. And then we are going to use area again for these parts too. I'm going to change the name of this park to parking. This one to backyard, for example. And this part to pool. Now if you want to see the area you have created, you can click on it and it will highlight the area. Or you can press VV and in this part you need to find the room. In here you can check this interior fill and it gives you this view. Or you can turn this off and use color scheme. So for this we are going to go to properties and this in this color scheme I'm going to select this gross building and in here we are going to change it to names okay and it is going to fill all of different parts with different colors like this let me turn this thin line off i don't really like to see all of these purple lines so i'm going to select them all and filter them like this with area boundaries i'm going to select it and then just simply hide all of the category after that if you want to see all of these walls in black you can select for example one of the walls and you can go to edit type in here just change the course scale fill pattern to solid fill in whatever color that you want you can change the color in this part and if you click on it all of the walls in the same type will become black so just make sure that the detail level is on course and also you can repeat it for these interior walls too i think it looks way better now to add legends we need to go to annotate and in here we can use this color fill legend i'm going to put it in this part select it and go to the edit type in here you can change the setting you can change the width height the value displayed and background you can put it on opaque or transparent you can change the color the overall color or if you check this box you will have the text title like this building area legend and in these two parts you can control the font size and you can make them bold italic or underline you can modify them separately this part this text part is for these text and the title text is for this part you can also go to edit this cam and in this part you can change their color too so you can click on this part and in here you can change the color also you can change their sorting from this part you can 
sort them by their area their number or any other thing if you select the area you can have the area of them the area of each part separately and in this part instead of these names you will have these values i think the name is better so we are going to go with that the next part is to create area for all of the other levels that you have for example you need to go to that floor plan and in here you need to click on this area plan again this time let's go with rentable i'm going to select this level three and okay again click on this area and put it in here perfect now if you look at this part in project browser we have this area plans rentable and we have this level three inside it i'm going to change its name to third floor area if you select the tag in this part you can add a leader for it or you can change its orientation and the angle also if you need to modify it a little bit more you can go to edit family and change it from this part for example you can go to your create and add another label to here and you can add area type any comments if you have you can add the level name number and any other thing you can also create one yourself and then you can load it into the project and use that specific tag and now it's time for creating the schedule so we need to go to view tab and in this schedules we are going to click on this schedules and quantity in here we can change the name for example let's go with area schedule and in here you can select between areas gross building and areas rentable i'm going to go with areas gross building after that in here we have a few options of course we need the area we are going to go with count and then the level name probably the number and the area type and okay let's change the sorting first you can click on this part and in here i'm going to move name up i don't think we need the count so i am going to remove it and after that we have area level number and area type okay to see the overall area you can go to sorting and grouping and check this grand total and just simply change this to titles and totals okay we have the levels sorted in here we have these different parts in first level and these two in second and third level for these parts for parking backyard and pool you can change the area type i'm going to change them to exterior areas this is perfect it gives a lot of information about different areas and different parts also you can change the fonts and color in these columns and rows too for example i'm going to select this part and we can change the font i am going to go with calibri and we can also change the size let's go with five and also we can change the color of this font for example this one okay and okay you can do this for all of these different parts too also you can change the color of these rows for example i'm going to select this one and change its color from this shading let's go with something really light like this okay and for this part we can go with another color maybe this one and you can repeat it for all of these parts if you don't want any column you can delete it from this part or if you don't need any row you can delete it from here this is for rows and this part is for columns you can also change the color of this part let me go back to black font color and after that we can change the shading to for example purple like this at the end you can create a new sheet like this and then add the floor plan maybe this one and next to it you can add the schedule then you can make it bigger or smaller and you can change the fonts to set it with this view and then present all of the information perfectly like this so that's it i hope this was helpful for you and you enjoyed watching it don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial bye